Hello again, and welcome to Reading with Nana. Hi to my special returning friends. Today's story is entitled The Grouchy Ladybug, and the author and the illustrator is Eric Carl, The Grouchy Ladybug. It was night, and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. You see those teeny tiny little bugs on the leaf? Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. Nope, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight. It said, then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed and it flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. That's a type of bee. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And she flew off. See the little stinger down there? At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug, and she flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and she flew away. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching his claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew away. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift up its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. We know what's going to happen when the skunk lifts his tail, don't we? It's not going to smell too good. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And she flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena. (laughs) 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 Laughing eerily and showing its teeth. (gasps) Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating his chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering his horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. 
At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk, showing its big tusk. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, hey, you want to fight? but it got no answer. So it flew off. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer. So it flew off. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, hey, you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, here again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. You're welcome. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. And that's the end of our story. The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. Click like or subscribe. Until next time.